Hey, Core Reporters, welcome back to my channel. Listen, disgraced former teen mom to star, that's my little brother messaging me, um, Janelle Evans posted to her Instagram stories uh, something that was just so disturbing even for Janelle, right? We already know that she is not screwed on too tight and that she really has a hardcore victim complex when it comes to her mother, Barbara Evans, but she really took things to a new level just now when she made this post to her Instagram page. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, we all know her. She is a famous victim of Munchausen by proxy. Her mother tried to convince everyone in her life that she was sick, that she was younger than she was. She made Gypsy go through several surgeries that she never even needed. She had Gypsy's teeth pulled out, like a lot of really disturbing things. Gypsy truly is um, a, a victim of her mom's A-B-U-S-E. Um, and Janelle really tried to compare herself to this girl. Mind you, Gypsy was so desperate for an escape that she actually plotted to off her mother with a guy that she was dating at the time, right? Um, and so this is what Janelle posted to her Instagram stories. It is uh, a screen video of her watching Gypsy's documentary. And she says, same Gypsy, hashtag toxic parents. And what is the same? Well, let's take a listen to what it is that Gypsy was saying in that audio clip that Janelle posted. Okay. I've got the, I've got the audio clip here. I can't post the video because it takes too much bandwidth. She never wanted me to find love or be happy. And I just kind of feel like that's, that's so as usual, Janelle is claiming her mom didn't want her to find love or be happy. Listen, Janelle, your mom wants you to be happy like any other parent would want their child to be happy. Um, and she wanted you to find love, but you constantly found toxic men instead. And your most toxic one you decided to marry and settle down with for the past several years and take his side when he allegedly put the paws on your alleged son, Jace Evans. Not only that, but do you guys remember the way David used to manhandle Kaiser on the show? Like he would drag Kaiser by his arm across the yard when uh, he would get upset with him. Uh, I remember this specifically when David and Janelle were doing their engagement shoot. Kaiser was crying, feed me. And instead, uh, David heard drag me. So he decided to drag that child. There was also a time where Kaiser was crying when they were out boating. And what does David say when a two-year-old is crying? Wow, he only cries to get what he wants. He's a little biatch, just like his dad. That's what he would say. And this is who Janelle to chose over these kids, right? And she's upset that her mom is unhappy in her choice of partner, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I just, I don't know. Like what type of love is it when a guy keeps causing you to lose custody of your children? Because that's not a love that you should want as a mother, Janelle, but I digress. So she posted, sorry, something else following it up. And it was just so out of left field, but we all know that Janelle has a sister named Ashley who like Janelle has a lot of uh, mental health issues. And so Janelle said, and my sister did witchcraft when I was younger and no one stopped her. And then she tagged Gypsy. So I guess perhaps Gypsy's sister was into witchcraft. Listen, I didn't watch this documentary. I only really know surface level things about Gypsy from like um, uh, stories that have been coming out. Like I know that she'd marry a man who kind of looks like her mom um, and whatnot. And that her mom was convincing her everybody around her that she was sick and like just all this really crazy stuff. But I don't know of her having siblings or anything like that. So maybe that is the context that is missing for me here in this post that Janelle made subsequently about how her sister did witchcraft. But without the concepts, it without the context, it just seems rather funny for her to be adding that up. Um, Janelle used the hashtag toxic parents. Again, I find it really crazy that Janelle wants us to believe that she is some sort of a victim um, and that her mom is this toxic parent when she has done a lot of really toxic things towards her, all of her children, such as choosing David Eason over them when he caused her to lose custody of them for the second time now. Janelle is paying for David's lawyers as he battles charges for allegedly putting his filthy, mangy, crusty, unemployed hands on Janelle's alleged son, right? Um, she also led a campaign against Jace Evans, trying to convince everyone that he was dangerous and that the family needed to be protected from him. Um, the judge had to tell her, listen, there is officially a gag order in place. You're going to stop harassing this child online. Does that not make you a toxic parent? Because I kind of feel like it does. Um, and not only that, but she has been trying her best to 
block the CPS investigation into herself and David Eason. CPS has been interviewing her other kids, Kaiser Ensley and David's daughter, Marissa. And Janelle has been trying to put a stop to it, trying to have her lawyers on hand, trying to just, uh, David has allegedly threatened CPS when they showed up to the property. Is that not toxic parenting to refuse to uh, comply with these sorts of things? Your man is already facing criminal charges for what he allegedly did to one of your kids. And the state just wants to make sure the others are safe. And you're blocking that, Janelle. That seems pretty damn toxic to me. In addition to letting this guy call your child, child a little b-i-t-c-h it's just it's a lot you guys i really cannot like the the victim um mentality that she has truly is out of this world and don't forget when she pulled out a gun in front of jace when she was stalking someone followed him all the way home and then she gaslit jace about it um gave him so much anxiety remember his ears were like bright red dude when she lied and claimed that she didn't pull that gun out on that man. And now let's get into the Munchausen situation when it comes to Gypsy Rose Blanchard, right? Gypsy was the victim of her mom who, um, who wanted everyone to convince everyone that Gypsy was sick. So this was Munchausen by proxy. Whereas Janelle, um, a lot of people, myself included, believe Janelle is a person who personally has Munchausen for herself. Luckily, she's not inflicting this on these children. She's already inflicted on enough of other things on these kids, but not Munchausen by proxy, thankfully. Um, and so she's always doctor shopping around trying to get some kind of diagnosis and the docs just aren't doing it for her. You know, they're saying, listen, girl, there's nothing wrong with you. You might be out here looking for pills, perhaps medicine, perhaps for something that you don't need pills and medicine for. So you're going to need to GTFO. Um, so just like the parallel there is just a little bit astonishing, but I digress. I don't think she can see it, you know, from her own post, but uh, that, that was one of the things that jumped out to me, the whole Munchausen thing. Like, girl, you have a lot more in common with Gypsy's mom than you do with Gypsy herself. Like Gypsy's mom, Janelle, you too are a toxic quote unquote parent. So let's not, let's log off the Instagram, let's turn off the TV and let's protect our children for the first time in our lives, right? I know you held up that uh, cardboard sign in the middle of an empty road saying hashtag save the children. But listen, why don't we start off by saving the children in your home right here, right now. Although you probably will never do that because that involves kicking your dusty, raggedy, no good, bum bitch, unemployed husband out of the house. And you can't do that because you can't stand, stand to be alone. Anyway, you guys just wanted to keep you, give you a heads up on that. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.